What's up guys, Hong for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I wanna talk about lower back issues, right? And why you have them, right? And uh, I came to this realization, well, I mean, I already knew, right? Why most people have these issues. But uh, one thing I did is that I got complacent about not doing what I was supposed to do to avoid the uh, you know lower back issues right now for those of you guys who don't know welcome to the channel i'm 41 years old judoka right grappler uh, i've been doing martial arts my whole life so i did a whole bunch of stuff and um i did about six years of brazilian jiu-jitsu and right now i'm at about four or five years in judo uh brown belt still competing going for a title right national and international title in my, of course, division category, which is, uh, it's gonna be masters, uh, I don't know, maybe two, three, or something like that, because I'm 41. Master division starts at 30, uh, if, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna have to look into all of that, right, for you guys, and for myself, too. So, like the channel, uh, I mean, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, click on the notification bell, and uh, that helps to grow the channel, of course, in the community. So, okay, <clears throat> now, the reason why most people have back issues has to do with posture, right? As we age, our posture gets worse and worse. And that's simply because, well, we spend a lot, a lot of time sitting, right? A lot of time sitting. When you think about it, a typical day, you wake up, right? And then, of course, you, uh, you have breakfast. And if you have breakfast, you're sitting down most of the time, right? And then from there, if you have to go to work, uh, or yeah, well, most people do. Okay, so you get into your car, so you sit the whole time, then you get to work, you sit again for uh, you know eight hours, let's say, you come back home, you're in the car again, you sit down, and then you come home, and then while well, you eat, right, you sit down again, and then, of course, let's say you, you wanna watch a little bit of TV before, uh, before you go to bed, then you're sitting down again. So you see there, there's a lot of sitting, and sitting is essentially the new smoking, right? it wreaks havoc on your posture and consequently your lower back. So now what I've been doing and what I got complacent with is that since this quarantine started, I've been sitting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot at my desk working, right? And the funny thing is I actually have a standing desk and I bought the standing desk so that, well, you know, I can stand, right? Because it's a better, uh, it's, it's, it's better for you. First of all, for your posture, and at the same time, keeps you awake. And of course, standing for long periods of time, I mean, you get tired too, but that's when you can go back to sitting, uh, or what I would recommend is lying down instead, okay? Or just move, stay in a squat position for a little bit, you know? At least sit on the floor with your legs crossed. It's, you know, just to, um, just to have variety, because it's not standing that's, standing in one place the whole day isn't good for you either so to speak. You have to move. The body is made to move, okay? But sitting, here's the thing with sitting, is that if you, your body will take the shape that you put it into the most, right? So imagine you're spending an average of eight to 10 hours sitting a day. I mean, your posture is going to be pure garbage and that's gonna affect your lower back, your posture, your shoulders gonna be rounded, right? It's gonna shorten the muscles all in front, so your hip flexors, and uh, your abs and all that, everything, and then everything in the back gets stretched out. So when that happens, well, of course, you know, now all of a sudden you're tight in front and you're loose in the back. And then on top of that, you go and you lift weights. And even if you exercise for one or two hours a day, most people just one hour a day, but even two hours a day, it's not enough to offset the damage that's caused by eight to 10 hours of, uh, of sitting down, right? So here's the thing. And the way you would go about this is that you have to keep in mind you want to sit as less as possible. The least amount of sitting you do during the day, okay, the better you, the better off you'll be. So what I recommend is if you don't have a standing desk, you should get one. If you work a lot at your desk at home, if it doesn't. Uh, uh, if not, and you go to work, and there is no such thing as a standing desk, well, you put a timer on, okay? So if you put a timer on for, let's say, every, I would say every 15 minutes, you got to get up and move, man. You got to get up and move. And of course, this is very well explained in the book, uh, The Supple Leopard, Becoming a Supple Leopard by Kelly Starrett. 
and essentially you have to get up and uh, re realign your body positioning, right? Midline stabilization. Uh, I won't get into it in this video, uh, but you know, because it's pretty, uh, it's it's not complicated, but there's a many little steps to it, right? But once you get into the habit of doing that, right? So then you'll see, like you you'll see what I mean. You'll be better off. Then you're able to sit, because it is possible to sit and to maintain a good posture. But the thing is, you can't adjust it while you're sitting down. So you have to adjust it while you're standing up. And then once you're once you go into uh, your sitting position, that's where you have to be able to maintain that posture. Of course, it's very hard to maintain that posture for extended periods of time. So it takes practice. You get better at it. It's a muscle. It's a reflex, right? That you have to automate. But uh, every time you screw up and you know you find yourself slouching, all of a sudden you have to get back up. You can't just readjust. You can't just straighten out because it has to do with your hips and all that, right? And the alignment of your hips to your uh, uh, to your spinal cord. So anyhow, and I noticed that I've been having more issues since quarantine because I've been sitting down a lot, right? And I'm training and then I'm like, oh man, there's something with my back. Like, I could feel it, I'm 41, right? Like you might be able to get away with it when you're young, right? But as time progresses, time passes and you keep doing that. So you keep sitting a lot, you're gonna have back issues. It doesn't matter how much you train at the gym. It, it won't matter. It's going to affect your lower back, okay? Because you can't offset it, like I said, with just one or two hours of training a, uh, a day, right? Versus eight hours, 10 hours of sitting down. So when you're watching TV, what I suggest is that you, you lie down on the side, right? Like this and like that, okay? You move around a little bit or you stand up when you can. And if even when you're reading a book, you're better off lying down. Now, here's the thing when you're lying down when you're reading, right? Well, if you have a pillow, you're going to be crunched up like that. So it's not really good for your, for your alignment too, right? So what you want to do is really lie down flat and hold the book here, which is, gets a little bit uncomfortable, or just to the side and put the book and you're here, you're reading. Or what I like to do too is that I go on the edge of my bed, right? And I lie on my stomach. My head is, uh, well... My stomach is on is I'm on my stomach and of course the book I'm putting at the, at the bottom right at the bottom uh, of the bed right so that way I'm looking down so I could keep my my head like this right or I'm holding the book or I'm just leaving it on the floor and just reading okay I know it's a pain it's a pain in the the butt to to make these adjustments but here's the thing if you don't do it you're gonna have back issues and of course there's stretching and, and that's very important, mobility and all that. But at the core, if you sit a lot, you're pretty much screwed. You know, you're gonna have back issues. Like it might not, and I don't, it doesn't matter how much you move uh, and how much you exercise, like it won't be enough. It won't be enough to offset like eight or 10 hours of sitting. So you wanna sit, if you care about your posture and your lower back and you have these issues, you gotta sit the least amount of time possible in a day. So that's why now you see my, I'm standing up right now and my desk is up. I've jacked it all the way up. And now what I do is I work and of course I move at the same time. I squat down and stuff. And when I'm, um, when I'm, when I'm, my legs are starting to feel sore, well, what I do is then I stretch out. I go into a squat position. I do a couple of uh, exercises too, right? And you're better, the body is made to move, guys. It's, it's just the way we evolve, you know? It's only been a couple hundred years since the chair was invented, society, you know, at a desk job and we're all sitting down and stuff like that. But it's not the way uh, we're, meant to, uh, we're, 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 we're meant to use our bodies, right? We're not meant to sit down for super long periods of time, right? I mean, we could do it, of course, but that's why everybody, everybody has back issues, man. So if you don't want back issues, don't, don't sit, like sit, like, of course, there's, there's a lot of times you, you, you won't have a choice. Like if you go out to dinner or you're having dinner with the family, you gotta sit down. If you're going in the car, well, in, in, until they invent like a car where you're lying down and just press the button. And uh, I think we're getting there, by the way, with the whole Tesla thing, like automated cars where they just drive for you, you can lie down and you have, you know, you're not in this sitting position all hunched over, then okay. But yeah, like, so you sit when you really have to, but when you can't make the effort and it's progressive, right? So you don't have to do, like, if you try to, 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 to not um, to stand or not to sit a whole day, right? Wow, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a toll on you. You're going to feel it in your muscles and all that. You're not used to it, right? 
So do it progressively. That's my suggestion. I always suggest incremental progression, right? A little bit every day. A little bit every day, it's going to take you a long way. And you build up the strength, the habits, right, of uh, setting yourself straight. And it's going to pay dividends. So right now, I've been going at this for a week now. Standing desk, like completely elevated, right? And I'm standing, I'm doing my work. And I have it so that my screen is more or less here. So I'm not looking up. I'm not looking down. I'm looking more or less in front of me, more or less, right? A little bit down is okay, but not too much. And of course, by standing up, then if I feel like my energy, like I'm starting to feel stiff because standing up the whole time like this, of course, you're going to move a little bit. But... You know, you have to move your body in its full range. So that's why you could squat down a little bit. You could do a little bit of exercises, do a couple of air squats, okay? Um, do a little bit of push-ups, you know, have some bands with you. You always have to have bands with you. That's my suggestion. You know, you do a lot of pulling here, fixing your posture, you know, and that's going to help tremendously because your posture is really important. important. And now, here's the thing too. Posture affects performance, it, it affects your ability to generate power. So that's why it's important to keep a, uh, a good posture for performance. And at the same time, well, back issues, man. We all have back issues. For, for those of you guys who, who are older like me, right? 40, I'm 41. So imagine like you're in 40, 41. And, and plus, I'm, you, 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 for sure, you have back issues. I, I know nobody at this age that doesn't have back issues, right? Or... You know, of course, if they work that and stuff like that, it's much better. But if they sit a lot, like sometimes, you know, you're, you're doing everything right. You're drinking water, you're hydrating, you're getting enough sleep, you're eating properly, you're exercising, but you still have these back problems. Why? It's the sitting down. It's the sitting down, guys. I really believe that. And this is not just me. It's, it's not anecdotal, right? It's not just my experience. I mean, this is proven. Uh, and if um, I'll, I'll put the links down below. Kelly Start wrote an amazing book. I'm gonna mention it again. Becoming a Supple Leopard teaches you everything about posture and how to uh, maintain midline stabilization and all that, and how your body is supposed to, uh, to 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 stand up straight and how to sit properly and and what you have to be aware of, right? Your head positioning and all that. And of course, he wrote another book, two other books. One is called Ready to Run, and another one is called. Um, I'll put it down below in the links, right? If you guys want to check it out, it's called Deskbound. Now, I started reading that book. I haven't finished it, but essentially, he's just talking specifically about the, the hazards of sitting down all the time, right? And it's a bane to our, to our society and to our performance and to our lower backs, really, man. You know, and of course, lower back, hunched over, the neck too. Man, it's, it's not good. It's not good. And all of this is going to... Uh, and if you exercise and you do some kind of combat sport like uh, like uh, like most of us do here, you're gonna it's gonna affect you. It's gonna affect performance. You're gonna pull muscles. You're gonna hurt yourself, and you're gonna go kind of wonder why. But at the basis, man, you know, like you want it's the posture. It's really the posture, and sitting down is what ruins us. Ruins us. And I'm planning on competing and winning my titles. You know, a national and an international title. Uh, I decided on that recently. Uh, you know, I was uh, I was talking with my coach, and uh, yeah, I, I want this, so I'm gonna go get it. And I have to do everything I can, everything possible, to improve and to to better myself, so that I'm able to to perform at the at the highest level that I can, right? And uh, so that I can win. Okay, so oh guys, uh, before I forget. I've asked uh, a lot of you guys to uh, join me up on Facebook, right? To find me on Facebook. The links are down below. Uh, so because I'm starting a challenge soon, I'm organizing now. It's, I'm organizing the challenge. So I'll, it's, it's, I'm setting it up slowly, but I want to do something fun. It's free. I'm going to put a prize in there, you know, for the winner. And the challenge itself, um, the group is going to be called, for now, it's, I, I can't change it yet. I can only change it every 30 days, right? And uh, I kind of screwed up there. Uh, but the name, like the name of the challenge, it's 30 day challenges. I'm going to do 30 day challenges all the time. Right. And it's going to be fun. We're going to concentrate on different aspects of, uh, uh, of, of, of health, of fitness. And it all has to do with grappling and of course, martial arts. Right. And it's going to be called 30 day grappling monster challenge. Right now. And of course that's the name of the group. Right, but then after that, the challenge itself will be named differently depending on what we're trying to work on. So this first challenge is going to be about 
it's it's called 30 day Van Damme split challenge okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our legs and of course on our flexibility a big emphasis on flexibility because flexibility is super important okay uh, if you have better flexibility in judo okay it's gonna help you to uh, throw your techniques uh, very differently right you have better extension better flexibility uchimara you know uh, you can swing your leg up higher when you're doing um, osoto and and a whole bunch of things right and we are or, or taiotoshi and all those things right even your sweeping and stuff like that mobility super important so we're gonna stretch it out we're gonna mobilize everything and we're gonna see I haven't decided on the uh, the exact um, how we're gonna win the challenge right but it's gonna be the person who made the most progress, right? So I'll keep you up to date. Now, what I, what I wanna ask you guys is, I've been having a lot, a lot of people uh, adding me on Facebook, and I thought, and it's, it's like, it's crazy. I'm getting about 100 uh, friend requests a day. Now, the thing is, I, you know, I just, I just of course, uh, accepted everybody, you know, uh, as a friend, because I thought it was guys from the community. But now the thing is, it might not be because a lot of these people they're like they, they come out of nowhere like they're all from all over the place but some of them are, are sending me some weird weird ass shit man i'm telling you some of them are just looking for boyfriends you know uh because they're they're gay which i had nothing against but that has nothing to do with me i'm you know like i'm all about like training i'm a personal trainer guys by the way so i'm about training okay performance judo so then what I want you guys to do is that when you find me on Facebook, okay, the links are down below. I'm going like I'm asking you guys to write to let me know that you're from the community, right? So you you write something like, you know, like something simple, reach out, send me a message, and say, Hong, hey, OG, I'm from YouTube. That's it. YouTube, OG, OG, YouTube, whatever, you know? Just the word YouTube in there and then OG or Hong or whatever. And good, boom, we're good to go. Cause now I'm getting all these requests and some of them, it's like people trying to fraud me and stuff like that, you know, sending me, oh, like my page, which is fine. Like if it's a page that, that I, I that, that's, that's not, uh, that's, that's not out of, completely out of my, my interest uh, zone, so to speak, then yeah, I'll like the page, no problem, you know? Uh, I don't mind helping people out, but I really wanna see, uh, I really like for you guys to, to help me with that, so, when you do a uh, friend request me, right? Like send me a little message, okay? Or when I accept, send me a message to say that, hey, OG, YouTube, boom, that's it, then I know. So what happens is that when you friend me, I have to make you like a page, it's called OG Fitness, and then from there I can add you to the group. I, I think that's how it's done, I'm kinda screwed up on that. But uh, I'll figure that out. And listen, that's it for this video, guys. So I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, like it, okay? Support the channel, uh, share, comment, of course and what else and of course yeah notification bell right if you click on the notification bell it uh it tells you when i make a video so that's it for this one guys and um follow me guys on 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 facebook and on ig on ig like sometimes i post little clips of me training and stuff like that which is a little bit harder to do sometimes um on youtube uh just because well you know like i'm gonna post what 20 seconds of uh of, of me doing uh, something right so of, of working uchikumi bands, uh, using uh, assisted pull-up bands, doing some judo stuff and all that, uh, you know, 20, 30 seconds a minute. It's like, I can't really, I can't upload that. Actually, you know what? I might, why the heck not? Okay, so anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.